Hey everybody, it is Billy at Be Tough. I am here at Millerton Lake, California. This is the first time I've ever been here, man. But we are here because I'm gonna do a new 2020 update on making a big wave. That's right. You may have seen our other video in the past, Monster, how to make a monster surf wave. Well, I've done a little changes, a few little tweaks that I thought I'd go over. Not nothing major, but I have done a couple different things. We're gonna go over that. And uh, we're also going to try something that is totally crazy. It's loco, man. It's loco, I say. We're gonna do that. We're gonna try it. And what is that? We're gonna put two set gates on the side. Two, man. It's probably not gonna do anything, but we're gonna find out what it does. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna have fun. Let's do it. Let's get into it. Let's fill the bags up. Start the music. Would you give me all? All you got to give back? Would you break my fall? Cause you got me tripping Let's it, it's gon' play sick Seeing face it Doing things I never do at all To let you to break my fall Be on you just one night Be on me, it's alright Be on me just for now Be on me anyhow Be on me just one night Be on me, it's alright Okay, let's take a look at the bags in the back because this is the biggest area where people make a mistake. Uh, we have 900 pound wake makers uh, piggyback system here. And the non-surf side on these older boats, I say older, this is a 2008. I would imagine that that applies up to a 2013, 14, I don't know. But um, you definitely need to list the boat. So you don't want to run as much weight on the non-surf side. I think over here, we're going to have probably about 400 pounds, 500 pounds, which represents half the bag. So that's where we want to be on that. And then over here, we want to get this dude full, right? Let me see where we're at here. You got to knock the air out of it too. I've tried to fix this, but I can't do it. It still fills up with air a little bit. They have a new system that they had but I try to get all the air out I can. But we're gonna fill this one up right here. This dude's getting filled up. And then we're gonna go to the front here. This thing's still filling up. This is the one my wife doesn't like that much because it does, you have to be careful when you're towing or pulling somebody because you can pull a lot of water over the top if you're not careful. But we're gonna get this one pretty full today. I'm gonna, this is a thousand pound bag, I think. And I'm gonna take it probably up to 800 to 900 pounds. So let's get that. And I got one more bag that we're gonna do under Nicole over there. We have a, uh, a locker bag that we are gonna put half the weight in, which is about uh, 200 and, or 250 to 300 pounds. I don't know. We're gonna put it right there. So we'll keep going and then we'll stick one surf gate, I mean, a uh, set gate on. I got, and that's something I'm gonna show you too because I have a new location that I've been running it at and I think I like it better. So we're gonna get into that. All right, man, let's keep going. All right, so I'm filling up my locker now, right here. And uh, I have a, and I don't know how long, I don't know how many pounds this is. I think it's either 600, I think it's a 600. But you're better to get a longer bag that goes all the way to here, like all the way up through here. And you don't have to use it, but I used to have a, like a 250 over here, but you know, you fill that up and you're done. Well, so you can always put 250 in. So I would advise, if you're gonna get a bag for the locker, just get a long one. And then you don't have to fill it up all the way. You can fill it up halfway, right? Another thing too, you may notice that I have a spare pump here. I would highly suggest getting two pumps. And not that you have to use two pumps at once. You can if you want, but it is because if you have a boat full of water and your pump takes a dump on you, you are screwed, dude. Are you gonna tow home with uh, all this weight in your boat? No, and I made that mistake one time. So always keep, a spare pump with you, it is worth the money. And uh, like I said, sometimes you can do it twice as fast too, that that makes it worth it, but always carry a spare pump with you. Also too, you never know if you're gonna have to put that in the hull, man, because your bilge pump can only go so fast. And if you've got something major going on, you could always dump this thing into the, the, the hull and get water out. So it's never too bad to have extra pumps on the boat. 
You know, one thing I'd like to see uh, before I put one of the gates on here is that, you know, before they had gates, they were surfing on these boats before and they did it by serious listing, right? That means leaning the boat over. And so I'm going to see if there's any wave there without a gate on it, without nothing. Let's just see if there is. There might not be. Let's find out. Let's get Sammy in the boat. Sammy, you want to come in here? Come on, let's do it. I know it, but people want to see the video, so come on in. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna get going. Let's see if it's let's see if there's anything there with no gate. I'm curious. Well, that was a complete dud. Absolutely nothing. So if they were wake surfing, they weren't doing it on this boat or they must've doing some extreme stuff. So we're gonna get rid of that. So there's our first fail today. That's okay though. We wanted to see if it would do anything. Now let's put our first swell on and let's see what it looks like. It should be a good wave. Okay, I've got the swell gate on and I wanna show you because this is one of the tweaks that is different than the monster wave video that we had in 2019 or 18 and that is our location of the swell we used to put it in the water right i used to put it down as low as i could into the back but now we have it up on the white area just below the malibu sign if i can get this i'm trying not to drop my phone in the water but see that right there that's where we're at and it is better for a couple of reasons one it gets the boat up on plane faster um, it's probably saving fuel and it just puts up a good wave. So let's take a look at it. Let's see what the wave looks like with our new 2020 location of the Swell Suck Gate. Okay, I am going to show you now my other update for 2020 on this boat. And that is the wedge location. I used to run it all the way down and we are gonna show you, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you the wave with it all the way down and then we'll put it where my new location is and I like it. So here it is, wedge all the way down. We're all loaded up. Let's make a wave. Okay, so let's take a look at this setup right here, which I used to run. Um, you know, a key focus area for this is gonna be where the curl is, right? Where the flat meets the curl. That's gonna be a key area to look at. You can also see the whitewash too, um, how powerful it is. And um, this wave is good. It's very smooth and um, very rideable. It's a, it's a fun ride. Um, like I said, we just started tweaking on it some more and uh, we'll get into that. We'll show that next. Okay, so you saw that, right? Pretty good wave and it is a really good wave, um, but we're gonna put it up to my new favorite spot here. And you may not even be able to see it on the, um, the video, but it's there. It creates more um, push. And that is, we're gonna bring the wedge up a little bit. So I've got it right now. I'm gonna go, it's you kinda it's kinda tricky too because I'm gonna go one, two, three. It's gonna pull it up a little bit. Four, five, oops, went a little bit too far. Oh, it's so close, it's so hard to do. Almost there. Okay, there it is. So that's my new favorite wedge location. So the needle at nine o'clock, I guess you would call it. Alright, let's take a look at the wave. Okay, let's take a look at the wave with the power wedge at the nine o'clock position. Definitely makes a difference in the wave. It makes it have more push deeper in the wave. And you can see it waves a little bit thicker up where it has the curl. And uh, yeah, man, it definitely makes a difference. So we usually run it at the nine o'clock. That's one of the new things that I do now. And um, yeah, it also helps people that are new be able to keep up with the boat. It does, man. So I love it. The power wedge, one of the best things. That's what I love about the Malibu's, that power wedge, man. It is just a huge fine tuning tool. Well, there you see, man, that's a good wave. I can't wait to get on it. But before I do, I know this is not gonna do anything, but I know if you, ha if you run these set gates, I know you've thought, what if I put two? I don't know, it's probably not gonna do anything. It may make it worse. I don't even know where I'm gonna put it. I think I'm gonna put it more towards the middle of the boat back, like between the middle and the back of the boat. So I'm gonna put this on and it may screw everything up. It may not do anything, but we're all gonna know today. Today we're gonna know what happens when you put two gates on a boat. Let's do it. 
Okay, I got it mounted on. The only bummer part is that I don't have an eyelet to hook the rope on, but I'll just show you where I have it. So there's our original, right? And if you come here, it's right here. And I have to put this one under the water a little bit. So, and I would say like in, like in comparison to the tower, it's right here. So let's see, man, this, this could be a, 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 a fizzle. Everybody here is expecting a fizzle as am myself. So let's just find out what it does. Okay, let's take a look at this deal. We got the wedge in the nine o'clock position. We got the two suck gates on. I knew something was going on as soon as I hit the throttle because this dude was loaded down hard, big time. I mean, I usually have the throttle control on and it's not a problem. It would not plane. I had to punch it. I had to punch the throttle to get it to plane and then the wave came alive and I was like, what? Because if you look where the flat meets the curl, it's way thicker and it's hurling water over the top. Now, I don't know if you can see it and there's actually a tube in there. This thing was thick. Just like, you know, I'd ridden that G23, same thing. It doesn't have a ledge, but it definitely had that thick look now where the water was being thrown over the top. You can see it in the whitewash, it's more than what was before. And you know what? It's not just about having a bigger gate on there. I've had bigger gates on this boat. It doesn't make it better. This is trying to shove the whole side of the boat into the water. That's what it's trying to do. It's trying to skew the entire boat. And that's why I think the wave is so much bigger. Dude, that was crazy. Like, I don't know. I'm sure I'm going to commentate over the video, but that wave just got longer and thicker and that ain't a joke like if you look at the curl like it had a ton of like gap in there and it was way thicker and it was a lot longer i'm not making this up dude i am not a spokesman for this company i'm not getting paid for it but i'm telling you that is not what i expected i expected it to do nothing but that thing it looked i'm gonna try it dude but that looked like a better wave that looks like the best wave that's ever come off this boat so yeah, man, I'm just trying to take it in. Like, did I just see, like, did I want to see that or did it happen? I think it just happened. So I'm going to get on there and I'm going to try it. I'm excited about it. And uh, yeah, I will say this. It took a lot of motor, a lot more motor to get up on plane. Like you said, I don't know if you saw how long it took me to get that wave. It was a lot. But once it got there, dude, that's awesome, man. I can't wait. I'm going to try it. Let's do it. All right, well, I'm gonna take my surf style board out. It's one of my faster ones. And the only thing I'm worried about is that it took a lot of power to get it out of the hole, which, you know, it took a lot of power without me being on it, getting, trying to pull me out of the water. So I'm hoping that it gets me out of the water good. So we're gonna find that out. So let's get in there and see what happens. Kind of feeling things out to see how far back I could go. 
Um, I have to switch boards because it's got too much push on that wave, dude. It's like I, I'm on the brakes the whole time. 100% without a doubt, the furthest I've ever been able to go back on this boat. That was comparable to my buddies. He sold it, but he had a G23. Um, you're talking about the limits of that, man. That was crazy, dude. And I hope it shows that on the film. I'm not stunned right now because I did not expect that. So now I'm gonna switch boards up and try to have some fun cutting around and stuff. But man, I'm just like right now, I'm beside myself because you know, I always thought that I had reached the limitations on this boat of what was possible with it. And that was insane, man. Smooth face, super far back, dude. Incredible, man. Super crazy. What a hack, man. That is crazy. From my head to my toes, I'm on an island. From the pit of my soul, I need the silent song. Well, there you have it, man. You know what? I had a lot of fun today. Um, one of my enjoyments on this boat, you've seen it with my videos, is I like getting everything I can out of this boat on the wave. Like I like like making the shape perfect and making the length perfect and the height and all that stuff. I just, that's one of my enjoyments that I get, man. And I, you know, I would have swore, I first off, I thought that thing that we did, I thought like a lot of people looking at it, they're gonna think it's a gimmick or it's, and I'm sure that's fine, I, you know, and it, maybe it is, they'll scoff at it, you know? I mean, if I had a hundred thousand, you know, dollar plus Malibu, I think I'd probably think the same thing. I mean, so for me, the idea of a boat with no boat payment and I'm able to get this like crazy wave um, and not like that, but you know what's cool is like these boats are half the weight of those new boats. So, I mean, I think today we we're out here, I got like what, three sessions, I don't know, three sessions in and I don't know, 40 bucks in fuel maybe. And so, and I know it's a lot more for the bigger boats. So the idea that you have this lighter boat, a little bit lighter boat, but you're still getting that big wave is pretty, pretty crazy. The, the main waves that I've been on, um, my buddy's G23, a 2016 G23, um, had a, that wave has a ledge on it. Um, this one's smoother face, which is I'm fine with. I actually prefer the smoother face. Um, my buddy likes the ledge, but um, the one thing that that boat had that this one didn't have was the length on it. And today, with those that thing that we did, and I don't, I'm not an engineer. I can't tell you why it did what it did, and it's not the same as putting a bigger gate on. Um, but the length of the wave increased tremendously. I mean, it's the longest wave that I've had on this boat and very comparable to how far back I could go on my buddy's G23. So I don't know what it is. I mean, I, I think it's something about like, cause you know, when you put a gate on there, it's skewing the boat into the water. And I think when you, you have it in the middle and the side, it's actually trying to push the whole boat into the side, into the water. I don't know. I'm not an engineer, man, but I just know that it was definitely thicker than anything I've seen on this boat, and it was longer, dude. There, and I wouldn't lie about it. It is what it is. I did. I would. I, in fact, I was ready to call it um, a joke. I mean, I was ready to have it be a bomb, you know, and say, "Yo, well, it didn't work out, but it did." So, I don't know, man. Today was a fun day. I don't know, man. It makes me want to keep going on this thing, you know. I keep wanting to. Get, I keep thinking, like, you should get a newer boat. But then I have days like this, and I'm like, man, I, I'd be so mad if I got a newer boat and it didn't give me that wave. So. I don't know, fun day on the lake. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment box, I'll answer them. And uh, you know, if you have a newer Malibu, feel free to laugh, that's fine too. But a lot of fun, man, I love it, dude.